Welcome to another episode of Straight Out of Camera. Today we're talking about a recipe that's the first sequel recipe that I've created, and it's called Bleach Wash 2. One of the earliest recipes I posted was Bleach Wash 1, and ever since I made that one and posted that video, I knew I wanted to revisit this look uh, with a different take, with some different settings, but still uh, going after the similar vibe and similar look. Which was the reason I put one in the title of that original recipe, because I knew I would revisit this one to give you guys some options. So just like Bleach Wash 1, this was created on my X-T1, and I tried to create this with a broad compatibility in mind, meaning that I wanted to make this compatible with as many cameras as possible. That being said, the settings of this recipe mean that you should be able to utilize this on the X-Trans 1 sensor as, as well as anything after it. Um, so that X-Trans 1 sensor means the X-Pro 1, the X-E 1, and so forth. And with Pro Negative High, as the base and the dynamic range setting where it's set, as well as the auto white balance setting, this makes this recipe really versatile and should make it so that you can use it in a lot of lighting situations. The key characteristics of this recipe are a desaturated look, um, some strong contrast, and it mimics that bleach bypass look that some of these other cameras uh, have with that included beach bleach bypass um, uh, film simulation that they have. So if you own an older camera that doesn't have that bleach bypass film simulation built in, then this is a recipe to to try because hopefully this can give you that vibe, this similar feel. I'm really curious to see how this looks from owners of X-Pro ones and X-E ones. I'm trying to get my hand on an X-E one so I can start uh, creating recipes for that first uh, sensor specifically in mind. And I, I, I want something that's small like that that I can uh, travel with and put the pancake lens on and easily pack into small compartments and whatnot. So, so as soon as I get an X-E one, I'll let you know and I'll start creating some recipes specifically for that first sensor as well as the latest sensor as soon as I get my hands on an XC4 or um, something with that with that sensor. So thanks again as always. Try this Bleach Wash 2 recipe out and let me know what you think. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>